What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Got something pretty special today, which is Apria stock. Now you probably have played this before. This is one of the global leaders in cannabis and this industry is growing at a rapid pace. This is a Canadian company. They mostly sell a lot of cannabis products in Canada. And right now some really big things are happening with the overall company. Now Apria, just alone, they have over a thousand employees worldwide. They make a ton of this kind of product and they have a lot of farm area, a lot of factories, etc. in 10 countries and counting. So they're going really, really well. And so far they're making a lot of different stuff, including like different medications, like lotions, stuff like that, gifts that are made from cannabis. And they already have some pretty big global operations. If you check this out, already several different distributors. And I feel like with the United States slowly legalizing marijuana more and more, it's gonna be pretty big and they definitely will be expanding to the United States with over 300 million people. And with the Democrats right now pushing very heavily into the world of legalizing cannabis, it's looking good for the company. If you check out Apria, the ticker is APHA. These guys did surge up from a price of roughly $7 to $32 and now it's down to $20. So there's already a pretty big drop because the volume absolutely exploded. Because the volume absolutely exploded. The volume went from just 9.6 million, 6 million, to roughly over 100 million. So the more volume, the better. There's more hype, more people are playing the stock. More volume also means that a lot of people are taking interest in the company. And what's super interesting is it did go to $32, drop all the way down to like $19.55, 14, 15. It was a pretty big plummet. And now it's back up again to 20. So overall the stock is looking pretty good because there's some pretty big catalysts on the horizon for Apria. They're not just selling a bunch of their products, but currently that their losses are slowly decreasing, essentially that the quarterly revenue for the company has increased a bit, which is pretty nice. And the firm posted net revenue of 160.5 million in Canadian dollars, which is a 10% increase over the previous quarter. But the main part is gonna be the merger news going on. So Apria and also Tilray will be merging together, essentially creating one of the world's biggest cannabis companies out out there, which is two times the size of Kenobi growth. And so far, the Canadian recreational cannabis market is growing at a record pace. So far, I feel like it's a pretty good merger because when you have two really big cannabis companies coming together, it's definitely gonna benefit them. I'm all for mergers and also getting big companies because if you have like a ton of smaller companies, it's pretty dangerous. It's hard to raise cash. And obviously though, with two really good cannabis companies like Apri and Tilray combined together and merging up, it's a really, really good business model. This is why the share prices are doing really well. In fact, Apria and also Tilray is doing better than others because of this merger news. You clearly see the majority of individuals buying the stock, they're not really selling. Like the first wave up from eight bucks all the way up to roughly $13 actually stayed around $13. It didn't go back to its original price tag. There's another massive surge. This surge is way too big. When you see one of the sticks go all the way up like this, and it's like twice the volume as before, it's usually time when most investors take profit, which is exactly what they do. Share prices plummeted down to a low price of $14.50. Instead of going lower, like all good company stocks, after the first major plummet, there's always a slow and steady increase, which is exactly what's happening. So today, February 16th, the stock is up roughly 19%, and everyone is catching the drop. If you zoom all the way out, you clearly see cannabis wasn't really a good company before, but now they are with a ton of different states slowly legalizing here in the United States. What's even better is under the terms of a deal, if you buy shares of Apria, the shareholders will receive 0.8381 Tilray shares for each share of Apria owned. So essentially, let's say you own 10 shares of Apria, okay? Okay. you will receive roughly 8.3 shares of Tilray. That's what the merger agreement is. And this will be the world's biggest cannabis company. Yeah, you heard that right, the world's biggest, which makes it super appealing. And by the way, the legal marijuana market right now is expanding rapidly. In fact, this massive market is pretty undervalued in my opinion, especially with so much upcoming catalyst. I feel like we should definitely see even more massive bumps and also surges because once you know several states in the United States starts legalizing, it will affect the prices of a lot of these cannabis stocks. 
and it was valued at around $17.5 billion in 2019, the legal marijuana market that is, and it should be reaching around $65 billion by 2027. I think in the current four years, the hottest markets right now are gonna be batteries, lithium ion mines, nickel stocks, AI stocks, and also marijuana stocks. It just seems pretty funny. And recently it's been going up. If you check out the map, a lot of states are already fully legalized for recreational purposes. And if you also check out their base of operations, a lot of the headquarters that Apria has usually center very close around the American border. So I guess once everything's up and running and let's say everything's like just pretty much legalized, I feel like a lot of these states will actually be loving to have Tilray and also Apria's business coming in. And keep in mind that the revenues are doing pretty good. Share prices are going up. But can you imagine if the United States market opens up for Apria? It's gonna be pretty big. Imagine the European market totally embraces cannabis and also like medical cannabis, etc. It's gonna be an extremely big market. And if you check out this map, you'll clearly see there's already a lot of places slowly getting legalized. It's looking pretty good for the company. It's already going really well for the company. One really scary thing is where the whole entire market is at a decrease. A lot of countries are closing off from cannabis. A lot of states are not legalizing it. That's when a lot of these stocks will be in very big troubles. But because the outlook, the forecast is looking very good, with so many individuals actually believing in cannabis and also a lot of states legalizing, a lot of other countries legalizing, and with Apria already being such a well-established player, I think they are really poised to succeed. And yeah, I mean, they're doing really good. They have like several different brands. They got like different plants, you know, their story. They have a pretty big team with extremely good leadership and they're not messing around. They do a really good job. And just seeing the stock go up like several percentages every single week, it's pretty satisfying to see this company go up. Now, how do I feel about this merger? Now, this merger is pretty big. Obviously, if you guys wanna check this out, this is something that you want to look into because you want to be buying Apria stock and once you buy it, obviously each share you will receive 0.83 shares of Tilray and that will be automatically sent to your brokerage. This isn't anything new. A lot of other companies have done this previously. Essentially, it's a merger and you get shares from both companies, which is honestly pretty nice. I think combined together will essentially become a really big cannabis player. If you check out CGC, I mean, these guys are extremely big as well in the Canadian recreational cannabis market, but still though, it's not gonna be as big as Tilray and also Apri. I mean, it's a merger. It's two massive cannabis companies coming together forming this massive super giant that's gonna dominate the globe. And obviously though, with more money they're doing, they might even acquire other smaller cannabis companies and become an even bigger company. So, so far, I mean, let's just see what happens. I really want to be seeing Apria perhaps coming out with some sort of a really techie, you know, app or something like that. You know how like Weed Maps and also SSPK SPAC yeah, I wanna be seeing perhaps these massive cannabis companies coming out with something more techy, maybe like a app or software. That way it becomes more of a techy thing. Maybe do like deliveries, et cetera, investing in new technologies. Try to make yourself more of a techy type of company other than just a grower and a distributor. That's about it guys, thanks for watching.